Hey everyone, this is Randy from BibleBuyingGuide.com, and I'm here today with the King James Version Personal Size Canterbury in Navy Blue Calfskin. Comes in this nice little pretty box, and here's a look at the calfskin. It looks really good. It's soft to the touch. I love the feel of this. I love the color. It has uh, raised hubs, spine ridges, spine ribs, with gold, and the Jerusalem cross printed on the front. Now this one, the cover is a little bit smoother than the previous regular edition that I've got. This is the regular size and we might as well go ahead and compare sizes while we're here. So that's a, a look at how they compare. Both are really nice Bibles. This one has 36 GSM paper. This one has 28 GSM end, endopaque. Has the um, paste down, paste off liner. Several pages there in the front, presentation page. It has the epistle dedicatory in the front. This is made in the Netherlands by Royal Youngblood with a design by 2K Denmark. And it has the translators to the reader. Both of those are some of the best in the business, in my opinion. So we have an eight and a half point typeface with a, a, a generous leading, so it's easy to read. Leading, letting, however you want to say that. Um, highlights are in red. So verse numbers are red. The ornamented drop cap is red. And you'll see this for every single chapter. Red here. It has uh, 55,000 references that appear at the bottom of the page. And they are also keyed to the text with the chapter and verse number in red. The keys are in the text. But they're really small and easy to ignore. And this, this version does not have uh, translator's footnotes. That paper is has a little bit of a cream, not deep cream, more of a ivory look to it. It's really nice. It has lots of section headings. So that helps make them paragraphs almost. It does have pronunciation within the text, but they're easy to ignore most of the time. It's, it's mostly the hard words, although there are some that it do have it that I would prefer they don't. Um, Psalms looks really good. Psalms is in single column. But not necessarily stanzas, but it still works out really well. Really nice. I like it. Each page starts on a new, each book starts on a new page. You can see here we have our blue under gold. Blue under gold. This is a red letter edition which is different from the original. And in the back, we have Revelation, also red letter. And then one of my favorite features of any KJV red letter is to have a glossary of words that have changed meaning, like a base. You come across these things. I mean, a lot of times you know what they mean, but sometimes you don't. And I like to have a glossary in there. Especially good for teaching. It's easy. This is a good Bible for carry, for teaching, for ministry. Several pages for notes. I think it's something like 16 pages for notes that you can use for uh, scriptures. Memory list or for outlines for teaching or any of that sort of thing. It has the Scholar Bible maps. I'm just going to try to show you what the maps are. 12 maps. These are my favorite colors for maps. This is it right here. Thick enough paper, not, not as thick as some Bibles, but at the same time, it's not the Bible paper. So I don't know the GSM of that, but still, really good. I love those maps. Though I love that those colors. Almost a Red Sea Crossing there, but not quite. And that's it. Several pages in the back for, for you know, the thick pages. Sewn, of course. They don't make them not sewn. Nice little Bible. Good Bible for ministry. Good Bible for holding, carry. I like using this one for reading. The print is dark, but not so dark that it burns your eyes after a while. But at the same time, it's dark enough to read with decent lighting. You don't have to have the greatest lighting. Decent lighting. You can uh, read this for a long period of time with the, um, the opacity of the paper, with the color of the paper, the color of the font. This thing's easy to read and hold and carry and Really good. Really good Bible. I like this. You can get this at evangelicalbible.com. 
I'll put a link at the bottom of this. Let's compare it to a few things here. Here is a look at the original, which I still like. This original has 38 GSM paper, and it is a good Bible. It really is. I use this thing for teaching, for preaching. Let's look at Psalms. Try to line this up so you can get a better look. Psalms, and let's go to Mark. So you'll notice the difference here. This is red letter. This does not. But that's the size comparison. Get you an idea of their sizes there. They're both easy to read from. This one's not so much easy to carry, but that's a great Bible for preaching. It's good for desk work. A little bit thinner. Let's look at a few others. Pit Minion. Pit Minion is quite a bit smaller. Quite a bit smaller. And that shows. Now the Pit Minion, this one has 28 GSM paper. Some have 27, some have 28. Depends on what you get. There's been a lot of variation over time. And it doesn't really matter which, um, which whether you get 28 or 27, you can still get variation within the lots between them, even if it's the same paper. So let's line this up so you can see that a little bit better. The overall footprint is very similar. Um... This was the Pitmin is definitely a lighter Bible, but you can tell the difference in your in your font size there. Quite a bit easier to read the this thing. Canterbury. It's got a mark. Mine only has the one ribbon. They, they are supposed to have two though. This is a goatskin. It's an easy Bible to carry. Um, my eyes get tired though after a while, and I would gravitate toward this one for reading. And now, if my eyes are not tired, this is a great Bible for reading. I, I love reading this. I love holding this and carrying it. That's I, I like the wide, the wider columns with more words on the column. Um, man, this is fine too. I mean, it's, they're, they're both really good, really good Bible. Here is the other one that it will inevitably be compared with. I use a big word there, inevitably. Pretty big for a Tennessee and like me. About the same footprint, just about the same. And the font in this is, they're very similar. This is slightly smaller. But at this point, I'm splitting hairs. I mean, we're looking at 8.5 point compared to 8.75 point. They're really close. Um, the single column is beautiful. That's just all there is to it. But this paper is better than this edition. Now, there are other clarions that have better paper than mine. And here's a look at Psalms. How they compare the single columns. This is a good Bible for reading, good Bible for carry. I love the color of that paper. Um, I, I wouldn't mind if it were a little bit more opaque. The biggest problem is, is the page curl, which I don't have so much today. Here's another one. This is the Brevere Clarendon from Allen. This has the same cover as this one. I'll look at their footprint together, how they look. This one is a little thinner, but this also has thinner paper. Let's see what we got here. The Brevere Clarendon has a lot thinner paper. It also has a lot darker font, so you're going to see more show through. It's going to be more obvious. It's a good reader. Um, when I say reader, this is the best for reading as far as the design. This is designed for reading. They fix all the, the verses that start with a capital letter, even though they should start with um, a lowercase. Of course, I'm not finding any here, but it's, trust me, you'll find them. But to hold and to carry, that, that's, a, that's a good Bible to hold and carry. There's Mark. Let's take a look at Mark. Between the two, this paper is better, there's no doubt. There's no question about that. This this just has better better paper in my opinion. This is still a good Bible though. This has a lot of material in the back. But you don't necessarily need all that carrying with you. It's good they have, but that, that's a good good option. Here is the personal size Concord. Now their footprint is their width, thickness, similar. And there's that's how they're going to compare. That's how they're going to compare. 
the difference of course being the inside and the cover this cover is really stiff I'm gonna have to hold that one open because it will not stay open on its own but that's a look at Psalms it's a dark font I like dark fonts I really do this one's a red letter as small as this font is, I still don't have any issues reading it. Um, you can see the problem I've got with it, of course. If I'm teaching someone, I don't need to be fighting against my cover. If I'm laying this on a pulpit, that's, that's going to be a problem. I don't have any issues with this one. This one stays open really well. And this does look good. And if my eyes are not tired, I don't have any issues at all reading this. Still, I'm not, I'm not going to really fight that all day. Here is another one, which also has the same cover, the same leather. This one is the Compact Westminster, one of my favorite Bibles. I like a lot of these Bibles, though. It's about the same thickness. There's the footprint difference. About the same thickness. This has, if I remember correctly, 32 GSM paper. Really nice. If you want references, that's your Bible. 200,000 cross-references. And they're relevant too. They're not just there to, just to be there. They're good references. They really are. Excellent Bible for study. And of course you can see the problem you may have with it. Tiny text. It's even smaller or about the same at least of the Pitmanian. Pretty though. I mean, you know, I love this paper. I, I wouldn't mind if this print were just a touch darker. That would not hurt my feelings in the least. But this is still a good usable Bible. It does not have a concordance, just like this one does not have a concordance. Both are stripped down, and I say that loosely, both are reduced uh, editions of the original size. And when I say what I mean by stripped down, they, they both have the concordance removed. Here is more, this one is black letter. Now this paper is thicker, but this is just as opaque. Or close enough. They both are really opaque. Both are good Bibles. I like them both for different reasons. People always ask me which one Bible would you use. I would not use one Bible. Because there are multiple uses for Bibles and multiple needs for them. Sometimes you need verse by verse because it's easier to follow along. Sometimes you need paragraph because you're reading. So you should have a Bible for the use that you need it for, in my opinion. This is the Cameo, Cambridge Cameo, pretty little Bible, love this thing. has slightly thicker paper than the Brevere Clarendon. It's very similar to the Brevere Clarendon. It's that old printing press style print, print which this is digital. And there is Psalms. If I can get Psalms set up here so you can see it and compare. Just like the Brevere Clarendon, dark font. Uh, clean font. Dark, clean. I mean, that's really what it comes down to. This is set by hand. This is set digitally. Digitally is going to be cleaner as far as um, the spacing and all of that. And there is mark. And you can compare red letter to red letter here. This is bold. All the way around is bold. Um, some of these have uh, also have the, the footnotes, whereas this one does not. And also they have the, the cross-reference and footnote keys in the text like this does. However, some of them have larger numbers and letters and they're a little bit more distracting. I don't really find these as distracting. Some of these are not as much. I mean, they're, they're all good. But anyway, that is the Schuyler Canterbury in blue, navy blue calfskin. And here we, here we have him sitting next to the regular size in black calfskin. Both are great Bibles. They make a great combo. My plan is to use this one for preaching. I preached from this one today with no troubles at all. Easy Bible to preach from. However, if you need a larger font, this is your, this is a good choice. My plan is to use this one for preaching and reading at my desk, and use this one for carry. And reading, and you know when I want to sit in a chair and read or whatever. So there you go. You can you can get this at evangelicalbible.com.